this is Nicole Spore for Simon Says Stamp with the May edition of Making the Cut. Making the Cut is my monthly series here at Simon Says Stamp where we talk about all things die cutting. If you enjoy die cutting, I highly suggest you like and subscribe. Now let's get to creating five die cut rainbow cards. I decided to use the awesome Simon Says Stamp rainbow shaped card die to create some slimline style rainbows. Now I could have created all five cards, um, either standard or slimline with the rainbow dies. I did go ahead and incorporate a couple of the rainbow shaped dies into this project um, just to kind of show you the versatility of these. The reason I did five cards is that the rainbow itself is a single die, meaning the rays are not separate. So I die cut five different pattern papers using the rainbow die. And because I have all of those extra rays I do, or arcs, I don't want to throw those away. And so I like to go ahead and create multiple cards while I have those die cut. To reduce layers even more, we are stenciling the Lawn Fawn Cloudy Slimline Stencils directly to some slimline card bases. Simon Says Stamp has some incredible pre-cut, pre-scored card bases, including the slimline and mini slimline, and I am using the standard slimline for my project today. I simply taped down my card after I scored it to my work surface using a little repositionable tape and then I'm going to stencil the clouds with some salvaged patina distress ink. This is the newest distress color from Tim Holtz. I love it. I love it for clouds. I love it for backgrounds. Um, I love it for all kinds of things. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. These cloudy stencils are incredible as well. You get two of the slimline stencils. They are made specifically for slimline style cards. You get two in the pack. One has a little bit puffier clouds and one has a little bit smaller clouds. This one is the bigger of the two and then I'll show you the smaller one. You can see I've already used both of them on here. I really like to mix and match them but if you're looking for a certain size of cloud, it gives you those options plus there's a different border on each long side. So they really mix and match perfectly. Let's go ahead and switch back to the smaller of the two stencils and just add a tiny little touch up here at the top. I'm going to be careful not to kind of go beyond any of the cloud borders I've already stenciled. I don't like when it dips into there so I'm very purposeful where I stencil everything. Let's grab our rainbows and clouds now and see where we want to start positioning. These clouds are actually die cut using a separate die. The rainbow itself does die cut clouds, so I have a whole bunch of patterned paper um, clouds in my little dish. I save them in the storage pocket to use on another project, and I die cut the individual cloud dies from either a tone-on-tone -tone white Sunny Studio pattern paper or this older Doodlebug text pattern paper. This was from a Valentine's collection from many moons ago. It was in my scrap stash and I thought the text was really cute. If you don't have a text pattern paper, Simon Says Stamp has several incredible background sets that would work perfectly. You could definitely take a very light gray ink um, stamp the background, stamp on some white cardstock, and die cut your clouds for a similar look. Now I have a piece of fun foam, two pieces of stick it adhesive, and a piece of cardstock. We're going to place the stick it adhesive on each side of the fun foam to make this a dimensional sticker. What we're going to be creating is dimensional die cut sentiment stickers using the beautiful die from Simon Says Stamp. I love the combination of a scripty style sentiment with um, some stamped greetings with that. These cards in particular are going to be perfect because the slimline style 
gives us a lot of area either to the left or the right, wherever we, you know, position our rainbow to add lots of greetings. And I really wanted to add lots of greetings here. Off camera, I die cut the beautiful from my sandwich and then I inked it up with some salvage patina distress ink. We're going to start adhering our rainbow to our card base using a little liquid adhesive for the sunshine. You'll notice that the sunshine is a combination of two different yellow pattern papers. That is on purpose. I like that it's all yellow, but I didn't want it to be the same pattern for each. So we've got some like sunshine happy faces or cute little faces in the center and then a plaid that is from another older Doodlebug pattern paper collection. Doodlebug always does fantastic rainbow. Um, and so definitely, if you're looking to create something similar, check out all of their pattern paper collections and you can very easily create a very similar rainbow just with a single pack of paper. Then I'm going to use liquid adhesive on the first ray of my rainbow, gluing down this red piece directly to my card base. Something that I thought would be really fun today is to do every other ray of my rainbow dimensional. To do this, we're going to take some thin foam adhesive strips and we're going to remove the backing paper Normally you wouldn't do this until you were ready to adhere it to your project, but by removing the backing paper from that foam adhesive strip, it makes it very flexible so you can move it around that circular shape of the arc of the rainbow. We're going to just position this all the way around. If we need to add a little bit more foam adhesive, we can do that. And then we're going to adhere that right below the red part of the rainbow and what this is going to create is every other ray of the rainbow is going to be dimensional. With the finished card it looks really really cute. It's a very simple thing that adds a lot of interest to simple cards. What I was looking for with this project was to create very easy to replicate cards but some but add in those little details that really take it up a notch. It's one of my favorite things to try to do with every card I create. The orange ray of our rainbow now is going to be adhered directly to the card base. Then for the green one, we're going to add that foam adhesive back behind it again. Finally, the blue one is going to be adhered directly to that card base. You can kind of naturally see where those clouds are going to fit in here, right at the bottom of our rainbow. By adhering those with foam adhesive, they can kind of cover those raw edges of the rainbow. And again, I already placed some foam adhesive on the back of my text little clouds. We'll remove the backing paper from those and then pop them in place right at the ends. How cute is this little patterned paper rainbow? I absolutely love it. And I love the little sunshine peeking out there as well. Now that we have our embellishment for the card, we're ready to start stamping our sentiments and finally adding our die cut sentiment and then finishing the card with some embellishments. We are going to be combining greetings from the Inside Friendship Messages stamp set as well as the Slimline Beautiful You stamp set for our three Slimline style cards. The smaller phrases are all going to be from the Inside Friendship Messages stamp set and I'm going to use three different ones on the three different cards just to show you how you can mix and match and really customize the card to what you want to say. You can also totally do something other than friendship. I went with more of a friendship type theme for these cards, but anything will work. You can even do maybe birthday cards just by switching out your sentiments. 
After I have stamped the smaller frays, which I did use a gray ink, Simon Says Stamp Smoke Gray Ink for that, um, because there's no other black on the card, I love gray as an option as it gives a much softer look. We're going to take a sentiment or phrase from the Slimline Beautiful You stamp set, which is made specifically for Slimline style cards with some larger beautiful stamps. We're gonna use a beautiful die that coordinates with that, but then we're gonna use these other phrases and I'm simply masking off each word and stamping them in a different color. We've used red, yellow, green, and then our sentiment is out of blue. You can see here, this is that dimensional sentiment and I'm gonna add a little bit more salvaged patina ink to my die cut before I pop this out of the sandwich. So remember, our sandwich is fun foam that's backed on both the front and the back with sticket adhesive to make it a sticker. We remove one side of the sticket adhesive and replace that with white cardstock, and then we die cut our sentiment from this. One tip that I did off camera that I want to tell you is when I back the front and back of Fun Foam with sticket adhesive, I run that through my die cutting machine just as is, no dies, because it gives even pressure and it secures the sticket adhesive to the Fun Foam really, really nicely. Then I remove the backing paper from one side and replace it with cardstock. Now, the sentiment is a little tricky because it is super sticky. I love to use a Spellbinders tool-in-one to remove all of those little parts and pieces. As much as I love a scripty style sentiment, this really does have a lot of little pieces to pop out today, but it totally is worth it and because we already have our sandwich there of dimensional material, it really doesn't take that long to pop all of these out and put it in place. Once we have everything out, and don't forget the little dot for your eye, we're going to place this between our two rows of stamped greetings or phrases on our card. I love that with the placement of the rainbow on a slimline card, it gives us so much real estate to really have a big, bold sentiment. I'm gonna be careful that the loop in the letter F from Beautiful doesn't cover up any of my greeting, and then we're going to just carefully put this in place, and once it is perfectly where we want it to go, I'm going to give a nice little firm press and then because there is sticky material back behind the dot on the eye, I always worry that it's not going to stay put. So I like to put a little dab of liquid glue down and before I place that there, and I'm going to use the tip of my Spellbinders tool-in-one to pick that out and pop it in place. I love the rainbow of the greeting that matches the rainbow over on the left side of the card. Now to make our die cut sentiment pop even more, we are going to take some glossy accents and go over our sentiment with the glossy accents so it has a beautiful glossy finish. We're just gonna take that small tip there and draw over that. I like to then let this sit and dry, I would say an hour and you should be fairly safe. I just set this over to the side while I uh, worked on some other things and came back later and added the rest of my embellishing. Um, we don't really have a whole lot left here, but I went ahead and put my other cards together while the glossy accents was drying on this. And I like to just work nice and slow and try not to add too much glossy accents to the greeting. Otherwise, it tends to kind of try to migrate into those die cut areas. We're gonna embellish our slimline card with a little trio of clay heart accents. 
I'm going to put one on the cloud, a little red one here on the cloud, and then we'll do a couple of other ones over to the right of our sentiment or up above, depending on kind of where everything goes. I know one of the cards I switched the placement because I um, moved beautiful over just a little bit but I like the little trio there, an odd number of embellishments. And that is it for the Slimline Style card. Aren't they so much fun? Next, we are going to create the actual rainbow shaped card. So you can see that I did this, after I did the first card, I went ahead and laid out my rainbows so that I knew exactly what I had left we have two white rainbow card bases. The rainbow card die collection does come with the die that makes the rainbow shaped card. We are going to create this exactly like the rainbow on our slimline style card, meaning that the first ray is going to be adhered directly to the rainbow card base. The next one is going to be popped up with foam adhesive and every other one is going to be either adhered directly to the card or popped up. It adds a whole different kind of look to our rainbow shaped card. That is just so much fun. Now, because this is a rainbow shaped card, it's going to be much, much smaller. These will fit in a standard A2 size envelope. Um, but there's not going to be room for the big die cut greeting. So I went with just a little smaller sentiment for these that's going to go actually right there in the center of our rainbow. And I will show you that here in just a little bit. Even though we don't have as much room, I still want to make these cards pop. So they're going to, like I said, have the foam adhesive back behind the clouds, back behind some of the rainbow rays. And we're even going to tuck a little sunshine back behind one of those clouds before we glue it in place. And then we'll finish with a little red clay heart. So many fun little ways to use this great rainbow set. And I do think that aren't those little rainbow clouds you can see there on the right side of the screen, I think they would be really fun to use um, on a card just by themselves, maybe doing an all over rainbow cloud background or something like that. I'll have to um, make something and maybe share it on Instagram. I think they could be used really fun. Now before we secure the left cloud to our card, or either cloud actually, let's stamp our sentiment first. And I'm going to use my clouds as a guideline, but I was afraid I wouldn't get a very good impression. This sentiment, I loved it, is from the June Simon Says Stamp card kit the stamp set included in the kit or available for individual purchase called Rainbow is My Favorite Color. It is a six by eight stamp set and the You Color My World sentiment from this I thought would be so cute right there in the center. We're gonna use four shades of Simon Says Stamp ink for a different color for each word. I'm just using some post-it note, notes to mask off each word so I can stamp them in a different color. And we're going to do both cards at the same time. Uh, because I already knew this sentiment fit and I love that it had four words. So it works with the four colors of ink that I'm using. And I liked the sentiment. We're going to do those exactly the same. I know I mixed and matched the sentiments on the other cards, but we're going to do these two exactly alike. I'm using Simon Says Stamp inks in Hot Lips, Sunshine, Jelly Bean, and Audrey Blue. Grab our next color of ink and then simply mask off. I reused these two post-it notes for both cards. In fact, I think I reused them from my Slimline cards as well. I do like to use a misty for this because it allows you to easily 
re-stamp something if you don't get a very good impression the first time. I know the little tail of the letter Y from the word my um, it runs really close to the last word of the sentiment and so I did re-stamp it, I think I did on both cards. Just make sure that after you have masked your sentiment and you've inked it up that you remove your post-it notes before you try to stamp or whatever masking material you're using. Post-it notes are just handy and they're generally pretty sticky so they work great. We're actually going to glue the sunshine to the back of the cloud before we secure it with foam adhesive so that it lays really nice back behind the cloud and then over the rays of the rainbow. We'll put a little glue on the back of the cloud first, then we will glue that to the circle portion of our sunshine. Then we're going to glue the sun rays around that. And then we will take this to our project. It looks like I had a little bit of the sun peeking out underneath, so I just snipped that off. And we're going to put our foam adhesive directly on our little rainbow shaped card. And then put our cloud in place. I did put a little liquid adhesive back behind the parts of the sun that will overlap the rainbow so that it lays nice and flat. And then you can always put something heavy on there like an acrylic block to help kind of secure it while the liquid glue dries. Let's go ahead and put some foam adhesive on the second cloud, pop that in place. This time we are just gonna finish each of the rainbow shaped cards with one small heart accent. Uh, I didn't feel like I needed a ton. These are quite a bit smaller than the other card, but I always like to finish with a little red heart. I think it's a fun little finishing touch. Thank you guys so much for joining me for the May edition of Making the Cut. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Please be sure to visit the Simon Says Stamp blog for more information. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.